welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly. This is the first vlog that I'm posting about my grad trip that I went on with my friends recently and went on a six day trip with my friends to Vancouver and I will be sharing you guys the food and all the activities that we did during our visit and I hope you guys enjoy. So our flight was scheduled for 8 p.m. So we arrived at 4.30 p.m. at Toronto Airport. There was actually a bit of a hiccup though, so let's rewind. I woke up to a bunch of messages on my phone and it turns out our Airbnb host canceled our reservation. It was super hectic, but we ended up finding another Airbnb in North Vancouver. Okay, now back to the airport. Jacqueline, say hi. Brittany, say hi. <laughs> we all got Subway for dinner at the airport before boarding onto our flight. Our flight ended up being delayed around an hour, so we called our car rental company to make sure that we would be able to still pick up our car. And surprise, surprise, they were closed when we got there, even though we called them and they said they would stay and wait for us. See, there's Alien over there trying to get a rental car. Alright. Got the car. After figuring out our car rental situation, we finally began our trip to our Airbnb, which is located in North Vancouver. Finally, a place to see. Here's the kitchen. Eddie. Oh, they have a full balcony. Bedroom one, cute. Right in there. Oh, there's three bedrooms. I didn't even know there's three bedrooms. Wait. Okay, never mind. We're in the wrong unit. Okay. Well, time to go vlog. Um. Anyway, so this is actually our Airbnb now. We entered the wrong unit because it was a duplex, and we were wondering why it was so much nicer than the photos. Then, yeah, we figured it out. Anyways, that ends our day one, and we just finished eating dinner and went to bed. We're ready to go to the flying We're going to the grocery shop. Here's the view during the day. a quick trip to the grocery store to stock up on water and granola bars for the rest of the week. We begin our drive to Whistler which is around an hour and a half away and we plan to eat lunch there. We decided to have tacos for lunch at La Cantina and they've had super fast service. We then went to sign our waivers for the zip lining tour. So we joined a zip lining tour with the Zip Trek and it was a total of three hours and we all got to go down five different zip lines and they all had really great views. It was a really fun tour. We also saw a bear on the way up. If you've never been ziplining before, I really recommend ZipTrek. Their guides were really nice and it was a really fun time. Whistler is a place worth coming to if you want to go hiking and also if you want to try ziplining. We had dinner in downtown Vancouver at a restaurant called Menya Ito and they are known for their dipping ramen and it was my first time eating it. 
and honestly, it was probably the best ramen I've ever had. I definitely recommend you try this place when you come to Vancouver. Our first activity of day three was exploring Stanley Park. Uh, took around two hours. We walked around the park and took some Instagram photos and just enjoyed nature. stop was Granville Island and we took some time to explore the market we also wanted to get some food while we were at the market so we got this lobster roll from the Lobster Man for 25 bucks. We then lined up for Lee's Donut since we saw that it was very popular on TikTok and it was $25 for two dozens. Okay, would you like a receipt? Uh, thank you. Alright. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a great day. Thank you. These donuts are definitely worth a try, especially the honey dip flavor. The texture is indescribable. They have many other flavors as well though. I think their cake donuts are not bad. We then went to explore Gastown and went to Alley Oop to take some Instagram photos. We then went to Roosh Restaurant for dinner, which is located in Gastown as well. They had a deal on all their wines, it was 40% off, so we all shared a bottle of rosé. We came here to try their cheese fondue, and this is my first time ever trying cheese fondue and it was pretty good and surprisingly the pickle is not bad we had a really great time here and the server was super nice <laughs> so on day four we headed over to tamaki sushi and had Japanese food for lunch. It was really nice inside and they also had some lunch specials so it wasn't that expensive. My highlight was definitely this tuna in the appetizer. The fish overall was really fresh and I think it's much better quality than the sushi I've had in Toronto. We then headed down the street to Baroness Bubble Tea. They have a lot of unique flavors and I got the Milo Brown Sugar Bubble Tea. We then headed over to the Bunny Cafe. We got to feed and pet the bunnies. We went to Moonbag Gallery, which is kind of a Instagram photo place with different rooms where you can oh, it take pictures. We went to Heidi Lao for dinner and it was really amazing. They had snacks and drinks even before we went in and they even had an espresso machine. They had
had really great service and we were offered hair ties and aprons before we started eating. The atmosphere was a really fun and we had a great night. Definitely order the Happy Dancing Noodle guy. He's really great. Thank you! The first thing we did on day 5 was take a walk to see the Lynn Canyon Suspension Bridge. We then went to explore Lonsdale Key. We had lunch there and I had an empanada and pea soup. And we decided to get gelato afterwards because it looked really good. And at night we went to the Richmond Night Market. They're only open on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we thought that there would be less people on Friday, but it was really packed. We had dinner there since they have so much food. Definitely bring cash when you come here since most of the vendors take cash. Last full day here, we decided to go to dim sum and we got all the classics that I always get. I didn't have footage from what we did after because I was so busy shopping. We actually went to Daiso and H Mart and then we went to Granville Island again to pick up Lee's donuts as souvenirs for our family. For our last oh, meal God. in Vancouver, we had dinner at Fishworks restaurant. And it was only one kilometer away from our Airbnb, so we walked there. All our food was beautifully plated and had really fresh seafood. I got the seafood paella, it was really good. The restaurant was just by the pier, so we decided to go look at the skyline just one last time. It's so cold! Yeah, it's freezing! <laughs> we then went back to our Airbnb to pack and we headed to the airport at 3 a.m. Home time! I know. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. I forgot to film an outro in my proper clothes. But um, thank you for watching my mess of a video. And if you stay till here, oh my gosh, you must be one of my friends. Hello. Thank you. Bye-bye.